Saul, no one has ever arrived here other than by their own free will choice. August 10, 2014, by John Smallman. Things are heating up as you might say. There are multitudes of groups all across the planet meditating daily for peace, and to great effect. Peace will prevail because it is God's will as well as that of the vast majority of humans. Those who would intensify ongoing conflicts or instigate new ones will most definitely fail in their objectives. Earth is now a planet of peace, and the conflicts that are still occurring will be wound down and terminated, there is no longer any meaningful support available to assist those who wish to maintain or extend them. And this is cause for celebration. Celebrations raise the energy fields of those who participate in them, opening them to feel and then engage with the tsunami of love. Truly life is to be celebrated, especially now because what has been in opposition to life is weakening and disintegrating. Humanity wants to live in peace and harmony, and humans everywhere are starting to cooperate very effectively to renew and revitalize the planet where she has been so thoughtlessly raped and pillaged. The new golden age is now most firmly established on strong and unbreakable foundations, foundations of love. The age-old diseases of fear, anger, hate, and resentment are rapidly being eradicated as the older ones among you, infected with these diseases, gain some wisdom and recognize the futility of holding on to old and worn-out grudges, while the younger ones among you, who incarnated understanding this, compassionately encourage their elders to release their unhealthy focus on memories of pain and suffering that serve no purpose other than to cause further suffering. Pain happens in the now moment, whereas suffering is caused by clinging to memories of ancient pains. Let go of those sad memories that distract you from living, they are but a death wish, and, as a direct result, end your suffering. That perhaps sounds too easy, and yet it is undeniably true. Almost daily stories surface about people who have been hurt and abused who forgive those who have hurt them because they have understood the immense healing power of forgiveness. And by forgiving they not only heal themselves, but also those whom they have forgiven. Forgiveness is a tool of incredible power, embrace it, use it, and discover and enjoy for yourselves the wonderful sense of peace it brings. Forgiveness is the path to awakening. It is not helpful to see some crimes as unforgivable because to do so closes your hearts to field of love that envelopes you eternally, limiting your abilities to be carefree. While you close your hearts to love you will not find any happiness because happiness is carefree, joyful, limitless, and inspiring. When you are happy you can do much more because you have boundless energy and enthusiasm for life, and that happiness, which is firmly established within you, uplifts and encourages those with whom you interact. You have all experienced the joy of watching small children bubbling over with happiness and have then been delightedly unable to suppress your own resultant good spirits. Learn from them then, embrace the moment, and have fun. You were created in love for eternal joy. Having fun brings you joy, so focus your attention on engaging with it and bring yourselves more fully to life. Living as humans your lives are experienced as severely limiting due to the restrictions your cultures, race, sex, and religions impose on you from the moment of birth. However, all of you presently on earth incarnated with the intent to blow away or dissolve those unnatural limitations that have over the eons, brought you so much unnecessary pain and suffering. Deep within yourselves you know this, and that is why so many of you feel so uncomfortable as humans. You incarnated to blow away the limitations and yet you seem to have been captured and enslaved by them. Fortunately you have memories of happier times, memories that demonstrate to you the insanity of many of the restrictions that you have accepted and lived with during this lifetime. You are becoming aware, you have been becoming aware for several generations now, of your God-given and inalienable right to the freedom to be yourselves and to live lives that make you happy. As more and more of you move towards freedom and learn to accept that others too have the right to be free, so the restrictions and limitations that have enslaved you for so long lose their power over you. As you retake your freedom those who would control, oppress and suppress you lose their power over you, and it absolutely terrifies them. They are totally ego-driven, have no sense of humanity's eternal spiritual heritage, and know only fear and the thrust for power and control that it induces. When they lose control they collapse as their grandiosity is revealed for what it is, a weak and fearful mask behind which they have been hiding, 
pretending to be wise, honest, and intent on looking out for the interests of those who elected them. In fact, as is now readily apparent, they have for the most part been utterly selfing in their never-ending quest to remain in positions of power and authority, purposefully above the laws they happily impose on those who elected them. This is regularly demonstrated in small ways all across the world whenever politicians are running for re-election and they do everything in their power, use every weapon in their tiny arsenals, to convince the voters that it is in their own best interests to re-elect them, freely misrepresenting or distorting their views and beliefs in an attempt to appeal to those to whom they think they are speaking. With your modern communications systems providing instant publicity it is now practically impossible for them to continue deceiving you in this way. The system on which they relied for cover, the bot mainstream media, is also collapsing because it is being happily bypassed by independent reporters and journalists whose one aim is to report the facts, and not the fictions that the authorities would have them publish. As the old order continues to disintegrate, and their hideous secrets are revealed for all to see, understand that what is happening now has been planned for eons. Earth is a free will planet, and all who are incarnate here chose to be here. No one has ever arrived here other than by their own free will choice. Over the eons you have been learning about freedom and its abuse in a state of severely limited consciousness. The vast majority, the collective consciousness of humanity, now understands that free will is a responsibility that has to be exercised with great care and discretion to ensure that no one is disadvantaged to benefit another in any way at all, thus ensuring lives of generous cooperation, peace and harmony for all. This lesson has been very well learned and as a result the old order, the order of control, oppression, and enslavement is collapsing irrevocably. Help to accelerate this inevitable collapse by intending during your daily meditations to share the love within each one of you by extending it throughout all creation to all sentient beings. When you do this the power of love reverberates and reverberates joyously and unceasingly bringing wakefulness to all who have chosen to awaken. That is what you incarnated to do and you are now bringing that task to its moment of completion. With so very much love, Saul.